Playing out of Phoenix, Arizona, USA. Man, it would mean my first belt. I haven't had one yet. Um, I just want to earn it. I want to make it happen. I want it. It's going to mean a lot to me and a whole lot of other people that are, that are around me. So my prediction is stoppage in the first round. I know if stoppage doesn't happen in the first round, there's always the second. Um, I do not want to let this go to decision. Uh, I, I think I'm going to show up professional. I'm going to show up present, and it's going to be a heck of a night. My name is Claire Guthrie. I'm fighting out of Denver, Colorado, representing the USA. Um, you know, I've had a lot of fights. I had a lot of amateur fights. Um, I'm five and two as a pro. You know, I've seen a lot of different styles. Uh, Zarina's style isn't something that I haven't seen before. Um, I think it's fun. One of the reasons I moved up to Bantamweight was because I like fighting taller opponents, and so that's what I have in this fight. Um, you know, I think that my experience is really going to show. Um, she obviously got fight of the night last time, so that's really exciting for me as well. I love bangers. I love fights like that. Uh, so I'm ready for whatever she brings. You know, being part of this tournament is really awesome. I really love that, you know, after, ten after tonight, after I get this win, that I have another fight lined up. Um, you know, winning the Bantamweight belt with UFL would really mean a lot to me. I mean, you know, being the first female to hold a belt with UFL is, is I mean, is just super exciting, super cool. I'm assuming that, you know, given the height difference between my opponent and I, um, I still have long arms, but I think that the grappling route and the ground and pound route is probably my quickest way to victory in this fight. So this is next. How exciting this is the Bantamweight Grand Prix semi-final that we'll see Toure. Toure now taking on Guthrie. Grizzly Guthrie making her debut. We will welcome the fighters now. And here she comes, Claire Grizzly Guthrie. Representing Elevation Fight Team. That team up in Colorado. And one of the things she talked to me about was the experience she's got, the experience she has on the big stage, on the bright lights. A record of five and two. She was a contestant as well on season 30 of The Ultimate Fighter. Has wins over the likes of Juliana Miller, who actually went on to win that series. She thinks, look, my experience is going to be what tells here also. She talks about the fact that she likes fighting the taller opponent. It suits her style. If she can get in and under the long strikes, the long weapons of her opponents, that's where she can turn into the Grizzly. That's where she can get these results. When you look at the win she's got, she's got five victories. Four of those are by decision, one by submission. That was her pro debut back in 2019. Every other victory since then has been a decision. The type of style where she can get hold of you. And also when you talk about training up at Elevation Fight Team, that cardio she got from training up there and doing the rounds at Elevation. Super composed, excited to make this debut. She really believes that with this performance and also going into December claiming that title, she feels like that will be a real big moment in her career and establish all the sacrifice she has made on this journey so far. So Claire Grizzly Guthrie is inside the cage. Let's welcome Arizona's own Zurina Toure. And just listen to that. Listen to the welcome for this late, this local absolute legend, Zurina Mayhem Toure, making the walk. She made a statement at her victory against Veronica Smokeover at UFL One. She's had to sit and wait for this opportunity. It's been super hard to find opponents for her just because of that style. But Guthrie has stepped up. However, Toure thinks. This is my hometown. I'm going to show her just how good I am. She's dedicated so much time and effort into this camp. And what you saw with her in the fight against Small Cobra, Frank, 
that excited us. But now with another six months behind her of training, dedication, motivation, I'm excited to see the evolution, the next step in this fighter. Yeah, and that fight, she showcased it. She could dish it out, but also take it. It was a war back and forth. She took some hard shots from Makova, who was a hard hitter. But she was able to keep that up and keep up the intensity and just really was sharp with those punches inside, fighting off the clinch. Showed a very impressive, well-rounded fighter. I looked back at her record, back at Amateur, and she's got a loss on there, and it was to the style of fighter like Guthrie. It was somebody who could clinch with her, hold her down, and she was so frustrated with that. She put in the work to try and make sure that never happens again. But, you know, this is going to be the right real test, right? We're going from amateur to professional, not just professional, but to somebody with, you know, a CV of fighting on some of the biggest shows on the planet and against really high-level opponents. So this, this, this is the litmus test for is Toure the real deal? Absolutely. Just like we saw in the last fight, there's just a nemesis to your styles that people want to face and going out there and defeat them. Here's an opportunity to redeem herself. So both inside the case, let's hand it to Michael Vale. Our next bout is a semifinal in the UFL Bantamweight Grand Prix. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She stands five feet, six inches tall. Official weight, 135.9 pounds. She has a professional record of five wins, two losses. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado. Please welcome Claire Grizzly Guthrie. And now her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. She stands five feet, nine inches tall. Official weight, 135.5 pounds. She has a professional record of two wins, no losses. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona. Let's welcome Serena Mayhem to Look at the tail of the tape between these two. The stat that stands out is the height and reach advantage that Zurina Toure will have. The experience though on the side of Claire Grizzly Guthrie. This, a bantamweight semi-final. Who will fight Brittany, the quiet storm cloudy in the finals of December 16th. Scheduled for three, five minute rounds. Let's get this one on the rate. Let's go. Toure, white kit, red corner. Guthrie, oh, coming out hard and fast. She's so very much that she's used to facing against. In that fight with Markova, she likes these intense wars. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, she really does. It's a very similar body type to Smolkova, the person she fought to earn her spot in the semi finals. But a different style, Smolkova, that striker, whereas Grizzly, very much good at the clinch, the grappling. And the wrestling background shows in her stance. Claire kind of leans forward. You see her kind of putting her face over her lead knee. You get your weight moving forward so when they drop levels and shoot. But Zarina has a lot of good active hands and straight. It could be a problem for her if she's not able to just keep the distance close. Yeah, she's trying to get a bite on that head as well. You see that the wrestling experience, clinch experience of Claire. Oh. Oh. Look at these long strikes, Toure putting it on her. Oh, Guthrie biting down and fighting back. Here we go. And Serena Toure. I Claire did. Sorry. That was Guthrie went ahead and basically, sometimes when people ask me, hey, what's the defense for this? I'm like, you gotta just hit the person. You gotta like own your space. Well, what happens if they just run me over? They're just hitting me. I'm like, hit them back. Earn your respect. Oh, look at these shots coming from Zarina. And that's what Clay did in that situation right there, at exchange. Serena started getting some momentum on her, and she just fired back two right hands, going, no, you're not gonna just stand right in front of me and peg me. Certainly a battle right from the start here. We're only one minute 45 seconds into this. Zarina Toure said to me, the win over Smolkova, she never like, considered it a win. Yes, she won it in the eyes of the judges, but because she missed weight by, I don't remember what it was, a few hundred grams or something, she said, I didn't celebrate really because, you know, I, I want to show people she made weight. She turned up for this one and really wants to use this as the coming out party. But Claire Guthrie is as tough as they come, right? Oh, both exchange on the break. Look at the calves, look at the, th the thighs there of uh, Guthrie as she went round. Yeah, you see the, the effects of that roundhouse. Oh, oh, she's hurt her, she's hurt her, Toure. 
Looking for the finish, Guthrie fighting back. What a fight. Here we go. Now, I like what Serena just did. She realizes, hey man, there's two and a half more rounds to go. I'm gonna land some more leg shots. I don't have to rush it. Don't become predictable and take a shot. She just, she just shook that leg out right in front of us as well, Frank. Oh, she's dropped, oh, her leg's gone. Her leg's gone. Oh, there you go. Zarina Toure gets the finish. It was the, it was the leg kicks yes. that did it, Frank. That's what led to the beginning and the end. There she is, Zarina. I wonder Tur if the leg hit compromised, like, her ACL, and then when she tried to drive a shot off it, it just completely blew her knee out. But going back, she had so much damage on that lead leg, she was able to stay relaxed knowing that I'm gonna land that shot. She just landed it a lot faster look, than I expected. Yeah, look at the damage on that leg. And I think you're right, Frank. I think the knee's blown out. Yeah, if she was just grabbing the side of her leg, I would say it was a sciatic nerve. She's a good dead leg, she's hurt. But touching the knee and the fact she drove forward, I'm wondering, okay, the leg was compromised, and then because she tried to thrust off of it, it blew it out. Crazy scenes here, but what a performance. We're talking about the, the, the leg, but let's talk about the entire performance of, of Toure. She stepped in, stepped up, and again, that is an exquisite performance against a legit bona fide opponent, right? That is one Absolutely. way, that is a coming out party, that really is. You know, you might say that like, you know, her opponents in McCoy and other, the, the experience isn't there. She showed now against an experienced opponent, total, utter destruction. We're gonna have a yeah. little look back at some of the action here. There we see, look at the work here from the outside. Oh, and already you can see the leg there was compromised. Oh, look at this, Guthrie trying to fight back. You can see there she's struggling on that leg and she came forward, oh, and there it was. There it was. Finished with hammer fists, claims the victory. Let's make it official, let's hands to Michael Vale. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ryan Grugaman stops this bout at three minutes of round number one for your winner by technical knockout. And now moves on to the finals of the UFL Bantamweight Grand Prix, Zarina Mayhem to Ray. Congratulations, what a devastating victory you had there. What was the game plan going in? You obviously knew you were fighting a girl who was a lot of experience, who was looking to impose the clinch, take away your striking. What was the, the thoughts coming in? Happy birthday, Diego! I knew she was a grappler, man. I knew what I had to do. She came in, I just wanted to put her down, that's it. When the leg kick landed, did you know immediately that it was gonna cause some damage? Were you being patient? Or did you want to get her out of there with that shot? Did you know that it was gonna be just the beginning to the end? Yeah, honestly, everything just kind of happened too fast. I'm not, I'm not really, I just wanted to, to, to do some damage in there. That's about it. You damage, you did. Anybody you want to thank before we, uh, we call in Harrison? Yeah, my whole team here, my whole family and all my friends, everyone who supports me, uh, the UFL, Frank Mir, Rampage Jackson, everybody that's in the house tonight, thank you. And the production team, y'all, look at all these pictures they got going on here. You're having a good night so far. We'll make it better. Bring it in Harrison Rogers. I came in the wrong side this time. Because we have two things. We also have the face off, Rooney Cloudy. Let's get this finalized real quick. This is the finals. We'll see you both in December. But with the first round finish, hey, F3 is proud yeah! to offer <laughs> a sponsorship for your fight December. Hey, well, let's give everybody, I know you got so many fans out here. Let's give her one more round of applause. Your fight camp is on F3. You can focus. Thank you. Congratulations. Guys, another round of applause for Harrison Rogers. Guys, without him, this would not be possible. 